On February 6, 1778, three members of the American delegation discreetly met in Paris with Conrad Alexandre Girard, a close colleague of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. At that time, it was their fight against a common enemy, Great Britain, that brought France and the 13 United States of North America together. France sought revenge for the humiliation it suffered after the Treaty of 1763, which resulted in it giving up New France. And the 13 American colonies were rebelling against the Crown of England in order to become free from its rule. On that day, they signed the Treaty of Amity and Commerce, the first treaty the young American nation concluded with a foreign power. This text, drafted in French and in English, sought to establish and strengthen the friendship between the two nations through the freedom of commerce and the mutual protection of each other's vessels. It created sea letters, or passports, the form for which was annexed to the treaty. The Anglo-French War would become inevitable when London was informed of the French-American Agreement. A second agreement, the Treaty of Alliance, was signed in secret, providing for mutual assistance in the event of hostilities. The two treaties were devoted to establishing diplomatic relations with the 13 United States of North America. Louis XVI most Christian king and absolute sovereign of divine right was thus, ironically, the first to recognize the young American republic.